Hey everyone, it's uh, Joey with uh, Technology Consulting Concepts again, and I am uh, here to do a video on the solar backpack again because we've been getting a lot of requests for this. So uh, here we go. We've got a, a really good tactical backpack with molly webbing and lots of uh, tie downs so you can stuff this thing pretty full with uh, cargo. It's got lots of different compartments. Um, what we'll do is we'll show you what we've got loaded into this thing. In this compartment here, and this is the way it comes, we have several different attachments. One is a 200 watt inverter with two outlets and a USB socket, which is very, very handy. We have a USB uh, charger so you can charge AA or AAA batteries, essential. We have a uh, triple car socket with another USB port so you don't have to use the inverter to charge your USB devices. We have a USB splitter so you can power up multiple USB devices. A lot of these, a lot of times these, t these days people have cameras and cell phones and all sorts of things that they want to charge. And uh, got a great little tactical rechargeable flashlight that uh, you can put in one of the car sockets to recharge. In the rear compartment we have the brains of the unit and uh, what we have here is a uh, solar charge controller. It's hooked up to the solar panel, the battery, and the load. Here's your load. In this compartment we have three car charging sockets so you can um, hook up any of these devices up to three of them over here we have uh, the charger for the battery so if you uh, don't want to uh, use the Sun to charge up the battery you can just plug it into the wall in the main compartment sewn into the back we have a folding 10 watt solar panel. I'm just going to go ahead and deploy that so you can see how it works with one hand, no less. There you go, we're making power. And in the bottom of the compartment, we've got a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, that's a ton of power. And it's uh, just down there in the bottom of the compartment. And you've got tons of room in this compartment. And as you can see, we are now generating power. So you can take the inverter, plug it into one of the sockets. And you're off to the races making power. You can plug any of your 120 volt power devices in. There you have it. 